Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of CSI NET December 2023 Mathematical Sciences. This is a problem of Real Analysis Part C. The question ID is 704068. This is a uh, problem of uh, from calculus in RN. So we first read the question. For real numbers A, B, C, D, E, F, consider the function capital F such that R2 to R2 given by Fxy equal to this. Which of the following statements are true? F is continuous, F is uniformly continuous, F is differentiable, F has partial derivatives of all orders. So clearly, let us first see that this f, this fxy can be written in this form that is ax plus by comma dx plus ey plus c comma f. So if we write this as a, this is axy and this is a cxy so now clearly here this a is from r2 to r2 defined by ax plus by comma dx plus ey and this c is from r2 to r2 defined by cxy equal to c comma f and both are for all x, y belongs to R2. So clearly this A is linear and this is constant. And we all know from calculus in Rn that every linear uh, linear functions are differentiable and their derivative map is equal to this. The same as the given function for linear map and also every constant function is differentiable. So here A is differentiable and C is differentiable and then this A plus C is differentiable and this is actually our capital F. So here F is differentiable. So now option 3 is the correct option. We also know that if a function is differentiable then it must be continuous. So option 1 is also the correct option. Now, also here clearly this A is linear, so it is uniformly continuous and C constant function, definitely this is uniformly continuous. So this A plus C is uniformly continuous and that is capital F is uniformly continuous. So option 2 is the correct option. And also the partial derivatives of F is if we write this equal to as f1, f2, the component functions are denoted by capital F1 and capital F2. So then the partial derivative will be this del f1 del x, del f1 del y, del f2 del x and del f2 del y. And clearly this del f1 del x will be equal to here only a this is del f1 del y is this is b because f1 is here let me write f1 and f2 f1 is a x plus b y plus c and f2 is d x plus e y plus f so here del del f2 del x equal to uh, d and del f to del y equal to just e. So clearly all such partial derivatives of f of all order will exist because uh, now if we uh, then again uh, find del 2 f1 del x2 this will be 0 del 2 f1 del x del y will be 0 as these all partial derivatives of f are the constant functions so there all the partial derivatives of any order of them will be zero from 
second order that is del 2 f1 del x del y del 2 f1 del, del x2 and similarly del 2 f1 del x del y del 2 f1 del y2 all such uh, matters will be zero so f has partial derivatives of all orders this is the correct option so here option 1 2 3 4 all are the correct options this is the solution of this problem thanks for watching